it is a lot of fun in that it has an element of surprise, unexpectability, because every base metal that you get, and this is a com combination of copper, nickel silver, or German silver, which it's referred to sometimes, and brass. And depending on that sheet metal, you get different colors with the flames. And so there's just that element of surprise as to what's gonna come forth out of it. And you just take the flame and you hold it and heat that piece of metal. You are pushing it in and out to have it get the intensity greater to bring forth a greater color or to have the flame farther away from the metal so it makes a lesser color. You can see how this part up here has the bright yellows and some golds and that's on the copper piece and some of it even has some blues and reds. That was created, this part was by holding the flame farther away, the reds were off from bringing it closer. And you can move the flame with the torch to create different lines and swirls and different things you want to put on the pieces of metal. Part of the flame painting is that element of you're not entirely sure what's going to happen with it. So it becomes this happy surprise. You end up, especially with working with the squares, when you've painted on that square, all of a sudden you get these components that you put together and you say, oh, that reminds me of a flower, or that looks like a dancer. It ends up almost being like when you go outside and look at the clouds and you're seeing shapes in the clouds. You see some of those same shapes in what you have created with the fire on the piece of metal.